Hello, I'm Sarah Norris with Total Child Care Center in Wilmington, North Carolina. And today we're going to talk a little bit about interior design of a child care center or home. You need to keep in mind uh, that children are small. They're not as tall as we are, and so in the environment that they see is going to be fairly low. A good way to think about this is to get down on the floor, crawl around, and look at the environment from a child's pr perspective. So think about what they're going to be see that seeing as they walk into your facility. The things that are down low, you will need to be sure that you have wall space for pictures and for information sheets and those types of things that the children would be interested in and would be needed for their curriculum. Keeping the room bright and airy, uh, having uh, colors though that help to, to uh, make the room bright and comfortable is, would also be another consideration. Or you might want to think about using just pastels and then using other specks of color that might help within the room. Another thing that often people do not think about is the, uh, the level of noise within child care. It is uh, an extremely noisy group. All children make lots of noise and so you need to think about the sound uh, within the classrooms and what is going to be sound absorbent. If you have hard ceilings and hard floors and what can you do to add fabric and carpets that will going to help absorb sound. You want to make, to make it aesthetically pleasing both to your children as well as your parents. You want to make it easily cleaned, areas that can be cleaned easily. Uh, that means that if you carpet all the floors, it's going to be hard to keep that clean every day. So you might want to consider area rugs that can be, uh, that can be cleaned more often and floors that can be cleaned at night on a, a daily basis. Bathrooms you need to think about as uh, with small sinks, small toilets. You want to um, have materials that are easily cleaned and will not absorb in the bathroom areas. Uh, you want to have things that you could, you want to make the rooms easily uh, available for replacement if you need to paint, for instance. It needs to be something that can be fairly easily done and not a lot of crooks and crannies and those types of things that will cost more. Because you will have to paint on a more regular basis than you do in your home. Uh, you'll want to think about uh, equipment and how it looks in the room and how it's going to meet the needs of the children. So today we've talked a lot about some of the interior design of the classrooms uh, and of your facility as a whole. Also don't forget the outside. That's the first thing that parents see. So you want it to be aesthetically pleasing and you want it to be inviting for children to come in. So in considering what you're doing in interior as well as exterior design of your center, keep all of these in thoughts. Keep thinking about what young children see and what young children need.